Hey, what's up, YouTube? Matt from the Glove Bros. Coming to you guys with another video today. In this video, I'm going to be doing an update on my Rawlings Pro Preferred Chris Bryant Glove of the Month. So you guys have definitely have seen this glove before. If you're new to the channel and this is your first time seeing it, uh, this is one of my babies. Uh, the Chris Bryant Pro Preferred Pro 200-6, 12 and a quarter inch. Just an overall beautiful glove. It's breaking in pretty well so far. Um, the blue is holding up great, even though this really hasn't seen much dirt. Uh, the finger pad does have a nice stain on it, which I love. Laces are getting pretty stretched out. Um, the palm is still mostly clean, a little bit on the web there, a little bit in the pocket. But I'm not too worried about this glove getting dirty. I really don't care if it gets dirty. Uh, I'll show you guys the pocket uh, with the baseball. But this won't be seeing any baseball action, I don't think at least. Um, this is going to be my softball gamer, so uh, I really do have to break it in some more. I really just have been neglecting this glove, uh, mostly for the fact that I'm just really wrapped up with baseball right now. Uh, we did have our season opener yesterday, which went great. Uh, we got a win, and I had a really good day at the plate. Behind the plate, uh, I did okay. It was kind of crazy conditions. Uh, if you guys aren't from the Northeast, uh, you probably didn't hear about it. It was... Uh, extremely cold day yesterday it was like 36 degrees yesterday first pitch at like noon with like 30 to 40 mile an hour wind gusts it was crazy i had to catch uh with my all-star with a batting glove underneath which i never do i hate it so much but my pitcher our opening day pitcher throws cheese so he was he's sitting like 90 89 so he's throwing shed and uh I, uh, what's it called? The first pitch I caught during warm-ups, I thought I broke my finger. My hand was, like, my finger was purple. So you can tell I'm still a little bruised up from it. And then that's just, like, my blister that I've had for, like, a couple weeks now. It's just never going to go away. So my finger's still a little bit blistered from that day, uh, from yesterday. Um, so, yeah, just really working on getting this game ready now. My softball season doesn't start until the 25th i think or something like that so i do want to get this broken in but overall i mean obviously it's holding up great just developing a pocket on an h web for a softball is really hard um like this web will stretch a little bit as you guys can tell it's given a little bit but really not these quality on these pro preferred um is outstanding i've never felt a pro preferred like this before um, I've never felt a custom pro preferred, so maybe this is what it feels like. But the inserts are just absolutely amazing. They're super stiff. Fingers are made of a uh, really nice material. Uh, they're a little bit thicker than normal, which I really like. The lace is, is just normal Rawlings Tanner's lace. It's really good. Um, I mean, when it comes to Rawlings lace, it's just really solid. I went and I loosened these fingers. But I feel like I'm going to go back and loosen them again because I really am just trying to really stretch out the fingers, like select gloves. Uh, I don't know if you guys follow him. Uh, if you don't, he's a super cool dude. I want to go in and I want to stretch it out. Um, I haven't decided if I want to do the hot water method on this or not. I'm just kind of scared to do it, to be honest. Nothing like worried about like it affecting the glove, but sometimes I've seen that if you don't dry the glove properly, it'll leave uh, water spots and I really don't want that on this really just like looking for a really clean look with this one my biggest concern with doing the hot water method right now is that it's unseasonably cold uh, this week it's gonna be the hottest day I think is gonna be like 55 so it's really not ideal conditions for drying out a glove so that's just a big worry of mine I thought about maybe putting it in a, a heated room or something for it to dry out just oh excuse me uh not really sure what i'm gonna be doing so yeah i just want to talk about some other stuff now i'm just going to keep the glove in the video um this is the first year that my school is recording all our games uh we have a guy that is going to be coming in and recording our games he recorded yesterday's game and stuff but it was just like really like a trial run for him this is the first time he's ever done anything so he didn't bring two batteries so he really only got like the first four innings of the game. So in my first at bat, I got hit by a pitch. My second at bat, I popped out. My 
third at bat, I hit a double. In my second at bat, I hit a single and then advanced on the throw. So a single and then I got to second. So, of course, as soon as he stopped recording, those things happened. But either way, the, the video quality is terrible. We went to watch film today uh, to go over it. And it was so windy yesterday, like I said, 30, 40 mile an hour winds. You couldn't even hear anything in the video. Uh, my girlfriend took a video of me hitting the double. I have that saved. I'm not sure if I want to post that on Instagram yet or on here. But what I'm getting at is I'm going to be taking um, a big, like, uh, making, like, a collage out of everything that's going to be happening uh, for, like, the first half of the season and then second half and then summer. And I'm just going to put all the clips together and then I'm going to post it up on YouTube for you guys. Uh, if that's something that you guys would be interested in, uh, please leave a comment or leave a like on this video just so I know that you guys would want to do that. Uh, Marco's doing the same thing. Uh, he has a teammate, like a teammate's mom or something, has like a photography company. So they're going to be doing the same thing. So recording all their videos, stuff like that. So we're going to get some of his starts. I mean, for him, it's going to be a little bit harder because it's just him pitching. So, I mean, look, we'll put up K's and stuff like that and like dirty curveballs, but... Yeah, so I mean, any other video guy, video ideas that you guys have, please drop them. Um, I know someone asked for a Horween vs. Japan tan video. Unfortunately, before I could make that video, Marco shipped out his Horween, uh, which is what he traded to get the Maruchi, which you guys will see soon. Um, the difference between him and me uh, with making videos is that I only go to class in like the morning, and then I have practice at night, and... Or like after school it's depending on like the day of the week so today i don't have practice till tonight especially because of all the rain today so to practice supposed to be at two uh outside obviously it got canceled so we're going to be at the facility tonight instead so i was able to come at you guys with a video marco has school every day then he has practice after till usually like six seven o'clock and by the time he does homework he really doesn't have time to make videos so we're gonna do our best uh try to have them record some videos um on saturdays or something like that to really try to come at you guys with uh both of us on the channel not just me so i hope you guys enjoyed like i said before please drop down some video ideas of what you guys would actually want to see from us uh thank you guys so much for subscribing if you don't already press that little subscribe button and until next time have a good day